For me, food is so much more than a means to an end, so much more than sustenance. Although we need it, you know, for health and, and vitality, if a means to an end was, was the only goal, we would probably just take a pill that gave us all our nutrients, got us full, and we'd go on with our day. But food is really what brings us together. I mean, it's, it's like math. It's this universal language. Everybody eats, every culture has their own specialty foods, and when all those things come together and connect, it, it, it connects people in, in, inevitably. I mean, that's just what I think makes food so special. When we talk about the BIPOC food ways of food, especially when we talk about African American food, that really is the food of America. A lot of the of the grains and spices and plants that, that made their way over here on these slave ships coming from West Africa are the foods that have made their way into our everyday lives. And I think we take for granted where those food came from, the struggle that that food represents, and, and how passionate the people who, who cook that food are or how special it is to their family. And it's just, it's, it's, it's really, really important to understand, you know, where that came from. Somebody had asked me, you know, if I was upset that I, that I hadn't received a, a James Beard yet. And I said, absolutely not. As much as I love cooking food, I love telling the stories of other people's food and linking those stories. This world has spent so much time trying to divide us. And, and when you talk about food, it really brings us together and shows us how alike we really are. We need food for, for vitality, for sustenance, for life, and especially in the United States with so much unhealthy things that are around us. I think that joy of eating has kind of gotten lost. So yes, take care of your bodies. Everything is good in moderation. There are ways to have extremely delicious food and, and still have it be healthy, but at the same time, don't deprive yourself of, of the connections that are formed over a meal. Nobody's ever mad at a barbecue. Like, you get together, you're on people you love, the smells, the conversations that are had, the problems that are solved. Food brings so much joy. And if you just pigeonhole it into eating just to eat, to live, you're missing out on so much of what it has to offer. The more that you spend time with other people, the more you spend time eating other people's cuisines, the more time you take yourself out of your comfort zone and just learn to enjoy and stop and smell the brisket, you'll definitely be thankful for that. Mm -hmm.